This transition into spring has been a cold and long drawn out one. When the sun finally does peep out and the rain stops, it allows us to get on with the mass of rhododendron clearing we need to do. We have done so much already and there's still so much more to do, but each section we take down gives us light and hope that things are progressing and moving forward. I did a little clearing out of the house this week and a lot of sorting through and processing of rhododendron branches on the land. My garden is starting to grow very slowly up here in the cooler climate of the mountain and I desperately need more growing space for all the seedlings I have. So I have been potting things on and trying to keep up with watering by hand, which is tough and pretty time consuming. I really hope we have a warm long summer as I'm afraid some of my vegetables won't grow in time for a real proper harvest and I'm not sure how good the compost I've laid down on the new raised beds is. Well, I guess we'll just see how it goes this first year. did a great job taking down the huge wall of rhododendron in the little section behind the house. It just looks amazing now. Finally, the trees are starting to pop with bright green buds and the next phase of wildflowers around the land are just a delight to see and I'm enjoying so much documenting them and learning their names.
extended the bed here a couple of feet. The rest of the bed has potatoes and onions in, white onions, probably planted far too many in, in such a small space. I have these broad beans and I think they're kind of ready. The root systems are pretty strong um, in the modules. I've got 11 here, which is uh, very optimistic given the growing space that I have at the moment. But I think I can maybe fit six at a squeeze um, in this section here. So I'm gonna try and do that anyway. This first year is a, a big experiment to see, can we grow some stuff? And Dave is down at the other end of the forest there at the moment with the pole saw again. He is taking off the lower branches of the planted forest there and it's looking great. It's allowing so much more light to the forest floor. He's just doing the perimeter at the moment, but in time, we'll go further inwards. It's just amazing, just a small little bit of light coming through. It just means that ferns can grow, um, the forest floor can be so much more healthy, a bit drier as well. We really want to try and diversify the species in there. And he's finding a lot of uh, broadleaf species of trees in there that maybe have self-seeded over the years as well so he's on a mission to free them um, any broadleaf tree here david's on a mission to save <laughs> 